All right, so we don't have tires for the sand. Whoops. And I don't have the right jack either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to bring my expensive jack, so this is what I have. And uh, we decided 32 inch tires are better than 35 inch tires for sand. But uh, they're mud tire. And we'll uh, give it a shot, see what happens. Thankful enough, we have a uh, local guide here to uh, show us around. I know, the salty dog. Yeah, we gotta show you how to get lost. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. All right, uh, today we're at the Little Sahara State Park in Oklahoma. And uh, Jim McIntyre from UTV Takeover uh, contacted one of the uh, locals. This is Dr. Stan in front of us. He's a retired chiropractor and he and his wife are showing us around. The weather's perfect today. We thought it was gonna be a little stormy, but it's just overcast and chilly, but it's actually refreshing out today. So Little Sahara's got about 1,600 acres, and it's a mix of open dunes and uh, some of these trails like uh, we're seeing here. Came in at the south entrance, and when we pulled in, a lot of really nice RV spaces, um, pull-throughs, back-ins, um, and some really nice group picnic areas. Just parked in the day use there. So the Little Sahara Sand Dunes are a state park in Oklahoma. It's about 1,600 acres of rideable sand with trail access as well. There are two different RV parks, uh, North End and South End. My favorite part about Little Sahara Sand Dunes is the access to town. Today we drove into Waynoka and had a great lunch at Miss Jamie's. The town's doing a really good job of catering to the off-road community. All right, we're, so we're at the uh, north end of the dunes. Two different entrances here. North end, there's another campground. And uh, you've got a trail that takes you into Winoka as well, which is kind of neat. You've got access to the town. heard it's about a five to seven minute drive into town. So to get into uh, Little Sahara, it's $10 a person. They give you a, uh, a wristband. wristband. Uh, so it was uh, 20 bucks for Teresa and I to come on in. There's the observatory tower on your right. Hi. So the observatory tower over here to the right, you can just walk out and look over the dunes if you don't have an off-road vehicle. So here's the uh, campground on the north side. They've got some uh, shops over here and accessories. More campground area come up in front of us. This one doesn't seem as full as the south entrance seemed pretty full today. Yeah. As you can see these there are some nice sites. You got some pull throughs, some picnic tables. Pretty good uh, size pull throughs. And restrooms there. And I'm guessing they probably have showers. Yeah, I mean, this is probably a, a 45 foot pusher with a uh, truck and trailer in front of it, and there's still, still room. Yeah, so for a Friday, it's not too crowded, which is nice. Well, I'm probably scared of the storm coming in today. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're probably the only ones scared of the storm coming in. 
when they talk about golf ball size hail. I don't know what to do with that. Uh, we don't have that kind of weather in Northern California. So uh, some people do use paddle tires here, but for the most part, I'd say probably three quarters of them don't have paddle tires. And uh, it's probably better if you're going to run into town or, you know, you're worried about driving on this uh, asphalt to not have a paddle tire. So uh, this is the trail taking you into Wainoka from the north end. So uh, north end of the uh, dunes here at Little Sahara, and we're outside of the park. This is a uh, private campground. So you've got two campgrounds in the state park. And then uh, this RV park, which you can ride out of and into the dunes, is outside of the park and almost in, uh, probably in Wainoka. Right off the edge of the uh, trail going into Wainoka. Kind of nice, there's an access. Million dollars, this could be yours. I was saying there's an access road from this campground to the dunes. It says open 24 hours, it's just a sand. Road. Yeah, there's a sign right there, ATV trail. So back to the dunes is to our left. Cute little part of town. Blue house on the left here is Mayor Susan's house. Oh, nice. House on the left is the mayor's house. <laughs> she called us earlier today. Wanted us to meet her for dinner, so we'll see how that goes, see how the timing is later on today. Like you can go two different ways here. It's open for ATV use. Yeah, so it looks like I read that sign on these paved roads. Only, only ATV use, um, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. I'm guessing for noise. On the left is an old Harvey house. Harvey houses were built along the railroad tracks by a guy named Harvey. They were fancy places to stop and eat. Oh, so the railroad's right here, and that is a Harvey house. Huh. That might also be where they have the air museum. Log house? Liquor store on the left, bank on the left, post office on the right. Good little downtown. Want to stop for five minutes here and get a drink? Sure. All right, we're in Wainoka, Oklahoma, right next to Little Sahara State Park. I'm with the mayor of Wainoka, Susan Bradford. Why don't you tell us just a little bit about the area? Um, 
Winoka is a wonderful town. Uh, in the past few years, uh, uh, we've the folks here have realized that Sahara State Park is such an asset, and uh, uh, we've opened up the town of Winoka, town of 926, to our visitors and allowing them to uh, come from the state park into town and uh, patronize our businesses and giving them an opportunity to see what we have here. So it's really been a good fit. Yeah, I, I mean, we drove our uh, Can MX3 straight from the park through the access road and right into town. And we had uh, lunch over at Miss Jamie's. And I mean, it's pretty awesome just to be able to have access. So you can go to the dunes, RV parks, and everything there. There's a couple yes. little places to stay in town. But if you're staying out of the park, you have access to town for fuel and food and all that kind of stuff. We do, awesome. and we've had um, some uh, uh, burbos, some houses uh, where people are, are renting out to folks that are coming in um, and uh, uh, just really uh, trying to expand uh, our welcome to our visitors and give them the opportunity to come here and experience the little Sarah State Park in our town. Yeah. Well, we're enjoying our visit. It's a cool place to stop, uh, Oklahoma. Little Sahara. Little Sahara. Winoka, Oklahoma. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> awesome. So one of the things you got to uh, watch out for here is at the bottom of some of these dunes, there's uh, water, kind of like Oregon. So if you're coming over that dune the wrong way and don't want to get wet, you got to watch it. So one of the uh, rules at Little Sahara is you need to have a uh, orange whip flag uh, 10 feet above the ground. And they are particular about the orange part. Uh, we've got uh, a red uh, buggy whips and uh, they didn't like that. So it's gotta be orange up top.